<laughs> Are you ready for some questions? Surely. Okay. Uh, Mrs. Lincoln, could, could I ask you to speak a little louder because uh, we are quite a distance from each other. Okay, I'll try. Okay, and you let me know um, when you've had enough. We, we may have to do it in, in two nights because I got so many responses from the students, it was just uh, overwhelming. Oh, really? Well, I asked them to put them on index cards, and I have 250 index cards. Oh, my. We can't do that tonight. <laughs> Unless I just move in with you there, that's the only way we could do it. Okay, I think you could do that. Well, okay. I'll, now, the way I've divided the questions up is to put them in categories. For example, when uh, we have some questions on your personal background, uh, some on when uh, John F. Kennedy was a congressman, when he was a senator, during the campaign, uh, election eve, that kind of thing. Okay. So I'll just get started. The first one relates to you. All right. Could you please give us some of your educational and professional working experience background before you met John F. Kennedy? Well, I was graduated uh, with a BA degree from George Washington University. Okay. In, in Washington, D.C. And uh, I then took two years of law and, and from George Washington University. Right. I was going to law school at the same time as my husband, but he was a year ahead of me, and therefore I never finished. He, he finished and went out to practice, and I didn't finish. And uh, I taught myself shorthand and typing. Also, I worked for a congressman before I went to work for John F. Kennedy. Uh, Mrs. Lincoln, which congressman was that? Uh, congressman E.L. Tick Forrester from Georgia. Oh, yes, yes. Okay, next question. Um, what first attracted you to John F. Kennedy when he was a 35-year-old congressman from Massachusetts? Well, I was the third girl in the office, in Congressman Forrester's office, and I didn't see any chance for advancement. So I decided that I would like to go with someone who perhaps would be going places, and I would have a chance to, to advance. Yes. And so I read all the speeches and newsletters of the various congressmen at that time. And uh, between the two that I read mostly were Franklin D. Roosevelt, Jr. and John F. Kennedy. And I liked uh, John F. Kennedy the the better of the two. Yes, yes. D did you honestly feel in your own mind that you wanted to go to work for someone who might eventually become president? Yes, I did. I, I thought, well, that would be great because I thought he had a potential. Yes. And also, he had, I believed in what he, was, uh, uh, what he was speaking, what he was talking about. Yes, yes. Okay, uh, you, this is a, a, a question. You were basically a country girl from the plains of Nebraska. That's right. I was born and raised on a farm. Yes, okay. And uh, could you give us some background on your father? I understand he was in politics. Yes, he was. Uh, he, was uh, uh, he was very interested in politics. In fact, uh, he started out as, as, at an early age to go to this uh, the legislature in Nebraska. Yes. And from there, he uh, went. He ran for governor, and then afterwards he ran for Congress. And he was in Congress for two terms. But since Nebraska, and it still is a very Republican state, and he was a Democrat, it was a little difficult for him to to return. Yes. To Congress. Well, uh, Mrs. Lincoln, what years what, were your father a congressman? What, what In the 30s. In the 30s. That's right. Did your father live long enough to meet uh, JFK? Uh, he didn't meet him, no. Uh, oh. He died in 1960, and that's when the campaign, Kennedy was campaigning for president. So he when... Got, he never got to meet him, but he, he was very involved with me. Uh, at the time I was working for Kennedy when he was in the Senate. Yes, okay. Uh, next question. You say John F. Kennedy was a perfectionist in your book. That's right. In what manner did this manifest itself? In anything that he did. In what he wanted you to do, in, in what he wanted everyone around him to do. It was the perfection that he wanted. 
and, and, and you never said to him, I can't do whatever you asked me to do. You did it. Yes. And, it, and he was very pleased when you did. Yes.